Hello, and we're live with BQC Day 2. We've got Bournemouth Banshees versus Warwick Quidditch Club. My name's Sam Senior, and I'm with... Benjamin Honey. <laughs> that was enthralling. You sound as excited as I do, Ben. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> Bournemouth line up, looking strong after day one, keeping some close games against Bristol. Warwick as well, and quite a, quite a tough group for them. Relatively close game against Exeter. What's the score with the unstoppables with them, do you know? They won. They won. That was the game they won. Players to watch. For Bournemouth Banshees, we have Graham Zapel in the black headband, captain and coach of the Bournemouth Banshees. And then we have, well, a lot of strong Coffle players to watch on the Warwick side, none of which I know the name of. Warwick with the Coffle first, going straight in. Goal from Brooms up. Is that in? And it's called no good. I do believe it went through the hoop, but it was no good. That was one of the strong Quaffle players I was talking about. <laughs> and that was a great tackle there by Warwick. Taking him down, pushing him. Well recovered there by Bournemouth. Score still stands at 0-0. Bournemouth with bludge control. Oh, Dan Moore dismounts. Still tries to score anyway. <laughs> What an exciting start to this game. Bournemouth still with control. You know what? I recognise someone else on the Bournemouth team. Blonde-haired female chaser close to us. I played in our Cuba Cup team and she was very good. Do you remember her name though, Ben? I don't, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Oh, Graham's able to flex a beat on the attack there. Look Coming in, he's go. making the press. Look at Zabel go! He's whacking him in the face with a bludger and not letting go! Warwick score anyway. <laughs> it's 10 0. Graham with frustration at his shirt being pulled there. Oh, the <laughs> ben Honey, you are live on Quidditch UK. Please do not swear. Sorry, I didn't swear. Okay, he didn't swear. That will be muted for promotional purposes. Where's my jacket? Not the one that I'm wearing, there's another one. Okay, it's not getting muddy, that's fine. Yeah, that one. Don't get it muddy! Don't get it muddy! Oh, I like this structured attack from Bournemouth. Like, they're clearly... Oh! oh! I think it was going in! Well, that good. one's in! Yes, Bournemouth! Get in! Totally unbiased commentary here. It's 10 all. Listen, listen. It's British to support the underdog. We're at the British Quidditch Cup. Let's get real. All right, I'll go with that. <laughs> and that was it, some, I don't know, was it a beat? Oh, um, Graham loses his broom from the force that beat. And that guy scores. It's now 2-10. That two guy one. being number 50 for Warwick. What is his name? Louis Southwell. There we go. He's on my keeper team. Good old Louis Southwell. We know and love him. Yeah. Bournemouth now slowly advancing. Now without control for the first time this game. Slowly, but with a strong purpose and sense of will. <laughs> and the beat. This could be one yes. chance oh, to get another attack. Allowed. That is not allowed. Dino on the ball. The yes, beat. Way too hard, Lovely Graham. And Louis scores. Lovely Graham. That's now 3 1 to Warwick, I believe. It is 3 1 to Warwick. Uh, yes. Or 3 to 10 to use correct scoring. Who needs correct scoring these days? Let's live in excitement, live in the moment, Ben Honey. Yeah, that's true. Brooms down, must we repair the hoop? Louis Southwell with his pure force of nature destroying the hoop. It's only, it's only the first game of day two, mate. We need these hoops for the final, I think. Ben Honey, can I have some of your coffee again, please? I'm afraid I've just finished it, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> Graham Sable comes over for a mid-match interview with Ben Honey. And this is what we mean when it's totally unbiased commentary. When one of our commentators goes to chat with Graham halfway through. 
Uh, Hoop was dismounted, dismounted, dislodged. Oh, yeah. So Bournemouth do genuinely look like a much better team than they were even a year ago. Um, who, well, I was watching them a year and they were, going, they were pretty clueless on attack. And now they do genuinely look like they have a strategy, a plan. The, some of the individual players have really improved, including the current Quaffle Carrier. Like, yeah, Zapel's done some really good stuff there and he'll, left the club, he'll leave the club in a better place when he goes. And here comes 15. Bludge control now back again with Bournemouth. Woo! And there's a dunk coup there from Daniel Moore. Of course, aided by my setup. Daniel Moore, new player for Southwest Broadside this year. Using his height to put in that sweet dunk on the hoop, which, ah, oh, and Graham Zabel with the dodge. There is no bludgers. There's an advantage though to Bournemouth, uh, to Bournemouth, to Warwick. Who was the naughty one? He's coming to sit on the naughty step for a minute. Okay, he has the yellow ready. Graham with an amazing, amazing split of the legs. That boy's flexible. Look at him. Can we take a moment to appreciate the, um, the neon socks of the Bournemouth Banshees? It is appreciated. Pre appreciated. We'll go with that. Graham Zapel, after jumping and doing the splits there, needs a hit replacement. He's coming to sit on the naughty step. He's done his ankle in as well, by the looks of it. What was the call here, though, ref? Graham, what was the call? Huh? When you play with the passion of Graham Zapel, do rules really matter? Zapel doesn't need no rules. He's a teacher, he teaches the rules. <laughs> Warwick now with control again. Bournemouth all sitting on their hoops. Did Warwick try to drive it through? That is, that was not in. That span, that span. Goal ref, it spun around. <laughs> the commentators are incensed. Score is now, is it 310 or is it 4010? Oh, it's 20, great recovery there from Warwick. Score is 4020 to Warwick. There is now an advantage call for Bournemouth. Who is the naughty one on Warwick? Tornado are screaming. If anybody is wondering what the screams are in the background, it's not people being mauled. It is instead tornadoes cheering that they scored against Lee Griffins. Fierce passion of Emily Hayes, which we all love. Tornadoes do have a pretty sick kit. I do like their new kit now. Oh, and the game's resumed. We need to actually pay attention now. Louis Southwell slowly advancing. King Louis, as he shall henceforth be known. Oh! oh Seb Boris shouts from the side runs. A marriage proposal. Louis declines. Focus on the game instead. <laughs> Score is now 50 20 Warwick. Jake Rugia comes on now. Graham Zapel's now off the pitch. Bournemouth once again slowly coming up. Oh, he steps him. Oh, they beat out. Makes the hit. Brings him down. Great last ditch tackle. He just jumps on him. Dan Moore just mounts him. The king is dead. And number 63 judging through. Does he realise? Passes to the Warwick beater. He's not on your team. It was brave. Foolish, but brave. One thing, he's not on your team. Two, he's also not your position. 
The enthusiasm is incredible, though. You can't fault that. There is a yellow card incoming. I'm not entirely sure who for. This is Quidditch in its purest form. Like, forget, um, like, Raptors and LQC and werewolves playing slow, tactical matches. This is pure British Quidditch, what you're seeing right here. You would rather be nowhere else in the world, I'm sure. Looks like Dina Caruso now is about to get a card for something. Over the shoulder tackle. Over the shoulder tackle. And that's oh, so the majestic run of um, what's his face was actually like it's actually turned out all right. Does that not mean play resets where he was? Bravery over tactics is the lesson we're learning here. Surely that means the quaffle is returned and he should should be up at this side of the pitch. Bring no, him, he, he, him, he him, should, him. no, he, he should be there, he should be there. <laughs> I would like to also reiterate, neither me or Ben are qualified in refing. Or are you qualified, Ben? I am not qualified. We are not qualified, we do not know the rules. <laughs> We'd like to pretend when we know what's fair. I know that referees are wrong when they penalise me. <laughs> How many times have you been penalised this weekend, Ben? I am cardless for two years, I believe. Nice. Ah, Bournemouth, Dan Moore putting in that sweet, sweet hit. <laughs> oh, here comes um, big, powerful, beardy man. I forgot his name. Darius? Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, he goes in, charges, straight in. Impact player. And he definitely left an impact on Dan Moore. He's come up smiling, though. You can only smile when something like that happens. There's just nothing else you can do. Baxter throws the ball all the way back. It's Bournemouth on the attack. They look to go for a big, long, dinking shot. Dean is back on. The lovely, like, tactical slow play that we saw from Bournemouth has been replaced by chaos, which I half love and half of them are upset by. Score now is 60-20. Warwick out of range at this point. Seb coaching his old team from the sidelines. Baxter's charging in. That beater is right behind hoops and Darius just straight in. Where was the beater on that one? Smash it, right. Smash it, Eddie Alex Baker, same for you, mate. Smash it. Can Bournemouth regain bludge control? Because as long as Warwick have bludge control, that um, big beardy lad is going to keep on scoring. So, but they're not, they're not really, yeah. Oh, hey, they're going to do it now. Yeah, I think that's where this game's going to be won and lost. Because without bludgers, this guy is not going to get stopped, is he? Oh, I say that. I say that. I say that. He dismounted. 60 seconds off his broom ref. <laughs> Oh, but it's a Bournemouth advantage, I think. Or maybe it's a Warwick advantage. Oh, and now Big Beardy wants a sub. Farewell, Big Beardy. I do believe that boy is a machine. He is a machine, but he's gassed himself out whilst he refuels. <laughs> That's incredible. I think Bournemouth called the timeout. Is it a timeout? No, Alex, are you watching the game? Yeah, oh, God. Tackle from behind. Yeah. My favourite moment of the game so far is definitely when the Bournemouth chaser tried passing, not only to the opposition team, but of the wrong position. Put, put him off balance, wait for the beaters to come in. All of a sudden, bam! Wrong ball, can't control that one. Oh, and the timeout's called. What do you say about this game so far, Chas McLeod? 
Yeah, it's pretty entertaining. And you? What were you talking about? What are you saying? I'm saying yes to Bournemouth, yes to Warwick, yes to Quidditch in the UK. You gotta score more goals in the opposition team to win. I don't know why I've gone with a Liverpudlian accent there. See, if only he had put the quaffle through the hoop, they would have had a point. It's true. They hardly ever win when they don't score as many as the opposition. I mean, if Bournemouth had caught the snitch at that moment, they would have lost the game by 30 points. The score is currently 80 20, Chav. Surely it's end of the. Returning to their brooms, Bournemouth with the ball, Warwick with control. Now slowly advancing, Jake coming in to protect his beater. Beater's very far away from their chases. There is something happening. Beaters are distracted. The big boy up for Bournemouth's beat. Warwick now advancing. There is a definite dismount there. The ginger lad's going in. He is beat. Form of still without control. <laughs> Both beat. Form of now kicking the bludger back. Goes AWOL. Is there a goal from this? Oh, he catches it on the second attempt. Pass it across. The wrong player. Dean is coming in for a run. She is dismounted. Twice. Oh. And <laughs> Good defense there by Bournemouth. <laughs> Katie Lawrence has just told me she's going to go see Food Fighters in August. I hate her. I don't really. Graham, you work together, Graham. Graham, you got to work together! Oh, Graham is now back on pitch. The bludgers are everywhere. Bournemouth don't know that. Oh. Yeah. 69 is beat. Warwick going in with bludge control. 69 makes the hit, is beat. Graham beats him. Or does he? Oh, well dunked. Yes, Graham. Graham now regains control for Bournemouth. Score is now 90-20 to Warwick. Bournemouth back with control. Johnny Lydon making the call there of restart and the substitution. Graham beats their beater. Oh, it's a pass over. Well blocked. Keeper's ball. And the time on the game is... 12 minutes. Oh, Warwick. I mean, she touched the hoops. The Warwick player is making the call on the beater there. She's confused. Oh, and Bournemouth charging in. He's dismounted. The heartbreak. It happens to the best of us, even Ben Honey. I'm glad I'm the best of us. It's very kind of you. 
Pick it up again. Not quite how it works. Josh Brooks now on the pitch, coming in round behind. Bournemouth beat his beat. Graham makes the beat. The keeper makes the save. She's keen, but forgets that the keeper is immune. Good shout, though. If he wasn't immune, that would have been all right. Graham's coming around, trying to regain control for Bournemouth now. Makes a beat on the beater. They now have control again. Pass over the hoops. That is... What ball. Alex looks disappointed. I am. I am. Shivering two goals just then from the Bournemouth. The mighty, mighty Bournemouth is there. Fondly known. Bournemouth now back with control. Beat is advancing up for Warwick. Warwick very slowly up with the ball. Scott is still 90 20. Warwick's beat a beat. Graham is taking advantage of. No. Josh Brook now with the ball. He did play for Vanguard's for a season. Oh, Graham dodged the beat. There is no bludgers. He now, now Bournemouth need to run. There's no bludgers, but there's one coming up behind. Is he going for the beat? Oh, he missed him. He hands it off. Passes it on the floor. Now Warwick on the attack. There are two bludgers though. Is he feeling brave? She's threatening. Oh, he's beat anyway. Johnny. Bournemouth need four goals to get back into this. The pace of number 88 already. He's just come straight on. Where's he going? You're going too far. Nobody knows where he is except for the small non-male chaser that is going to mark him. He's going to score. He's, he's going to score. He's going to score. Wait for it. Graham Zabel coming. No. Bang! Zabel. Bang! No. Bang! Bang! No! Oh, oh snap! That was actually kind of Here it goes! Oh, that ball! That's how this receiver! That's how this receiver! I definitely thought that was the case to help this receiver, but it didn't matter, Bournemouth scored anyway. Hell fucking yeah. Sorry, that was swearing. Apologies, listeners. I'd like to remind you, Ben Hunt, you are live on Quidditch UK. Please do not swear. Ah, uh, and Warwick coming back in with control. Graham's focusing on Quaffle. Ah, oh, Josh Brook misses. That is not guarding, nearly was. Graham now taking a sub. Score is 90-30, Warwick. King Louis looking to seek. Dan Moore is having a very good game in terms of his catching at the moment. He's a very lanky lad. Where are you going, Ben Honey? No, Ben Honey, don't leave me on my own. I don't like the sound of my voice. Oh, and Bournemouth scores! Ben Honey, can you please return to your post, please? Oh. I brought um, the captain and coach of Bournemouth Banshee. Hello. <laughs> Everyone, this is Graham Zapel, um, star player of this game so far. Graham, how do you think it's gone for your team? Uh, we're doing better than we thought. We're in there. We've scored some good hoops. A few people haven't scored many hoops for us this tournament, so really pleased to see them stepping up for us. Managed to keep blood control pretty well. Got the control. I think it's just slipping away from us. I'm very proud of my team. I think they played very well.
I was saying earlier, Graham, that um, Bournemouth two years ago and Bournemouth today, the change is unrecognisable. Some of the same players have really evolved into like a proper team um, for a collection of people who hadn't played the game before. Uh, would you agree with that assessment? Uh, yeah, I think the players have grown. They got better. I think the keenness, going to fantasy tournaments, playing at Cupid. Uh, so there's definitely some developments. We've been proud to see. Uh, but there's still a, still a fair way I think the players can go. I think there's a lot of potential. Uh, uh, thank you, Graham. I'm going to let you go. And the Seekers are out. King Louis making good progress towards the snitch. Who's the snitch, mate? Uh, Chas McLeod. Chas McLeod of Durham is the snitch. King Louis does not get it. And Bournemouth are defensively seeking. Oh, King Louis has just headbutted his defensive seeker out of the way. King Louis. Angry arms. Chas more focused on that absolutely amazing set of hair. It is a good bonnet. It's a very good bonnet. Both then tried running against two bludgers, then realised. Louis is really going for it right now, and he goes in. Oh. Good effort. He dropped the snitch. Now takes a rest, sat down. Good call. Bournemouth now with control. I love this with Bournemouth here. He's great. He's got so much hustle. The Warwick call of drive is not heard. Could Bournemouth make an almighty comeback? I mean, they don't. They, they have control. Use it. on the face of number six for Bournemouth. He is just. Putting it all out on the pitch. <laughs> oh, almost. Oh. They're only score two goals and it's in range. It's overtime range. Yeah. Warwick now with all the time on the seeker. Chas McCall pushing back. Is he? No, he's not this man. He goes for the 90 pointer. Jake Ruggi is safe. There is a goal. 10 4. Kid's got beans. Kid's got beans. Come on, Bulma, keep it up. Warwick calling for a seeker sub. Graham Zaper trying to threaten. And that oh, is a hoop. He is one. definitely safe. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here comes Josh Brook. Big and hairy man is about to charge. <laughs> Josh Brook going all out now. Fighting with Chas McLeod. What? Where was Graham beat? Yeah, I mean, they called Graham him beat. Dave, they called him beat, but he's yeah, just but not. Like, SS the refs, calls don't count as tournament. That's what we're hearing. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Graham's coming in, circling. Baxter's beat! Woo! Put it in, my boy! 88! Mr. Multicolored! No! No! Put it in! And he chucked it back. He needs to hold the ball in his hand, not under his arm. That is a reset not used, but they're calling something. Tackle from behind. Illegal contact from behind. Alex, the super qualified, underqualified ref. <laughs> really, he's actually a baker. It's true, a baker. How is he still allowed to play rest? Wasn't he on loan to Bath? That's Quidditch UK's first loan, mate. It's true. I've set a precedent now. Not even triggered. <laughs> Graham's gonna go have some words. Fight him, Graham. Fight him like the cry kid you are. There is a decision as to who committed a foul and as to which foul. Is it gonna be like a wheel of fortune, Ben? 
think Tornadoes have scored again in the other game on that pitch. Frankie, what's the score? All right, Ben Honey's going to go check the score. Score is Ben Honey. Ooh. Who did the naughty and who is to sit on the naughty step? I think. Yeah. Oh, and it's Big Darius. Do we know why? Something. Well, yes, yeah, like, yeah. Matt Bateman here for his um, Arctic expedition. It's, it's, I'm not wearing shorts today, mate. I'm He's not wearing shorts. <laughs> oh, Darius has been yellowed along with the keeper. What? Is this double yellow? What's going on? Yeah, two chases just got yellowed for Warwick. They're two players down. Nice. Bournemouth do need to score three hoops, though, to actually have a chance. Uh, what's the game? Roughly 21 30. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> George, how's it going? Um, yeah. Can you all fix down this way so I don't have to scream at you? Oh, and the broom's back up. Takes a shot, that's a oh. goal! That mid range shot, one of them's back on. It's 10 5. Two more hoops. Huh? The cameraman's disappeared. I'm back. He's back now. Boom. Need to try and get that cough possession back. Graham Zapel's being hassled. Beats him in the face. Puts him to the ground. B, it's Bournemouth's chance now. They're charging up. Sam Baxter's coming in, passes over. Multicolored man scores. One more hoop and it's overtime range. No, one more one than more. overtime, one more. Ben Honey leaves his post once again. Come back here, Ben Honey. Ben, bring Eddie with you. Warwick you need to catch soon. Johnny! Johnny! <laughs> Warwick are getting close. Big Louie coming in. 160. As Sam already said this, I don't know, but we are one goal away from overtime range for Bournemouth. With Bournemouth on the ball! Yeah, 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 he wasn't even beat, was he? Bournemouth with control. Oh, oh, King Louis is so close. I said swim. King Louis is so close. Swim. Wait, is it, is it actually 10-7? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's actually 10-7. Oh. Catch it, Bournemouth, it can swim. Don't kick it. You did that, Ben, honey. Was it? Was it I, a goal was given randomly. Oh. <laughs> it was, it was, defi it was definitely 160, but a goal... We, we, yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was 10-6. just came up and was like, no, they had another goal, so I was like, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sash so Steele getting done for match fixing. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> Graham Saper does not look happy. Something's wrong here. This keeper, the, the, the uh, captain for Warwick, is always talking to the ref. He's a gobby shy. <laughs> Alex Baker making his important comments. <laughs> How would you describe that? <laughs> I was about to say that snack. <laughs> I feel like I know what the answer to the next question is. How would you describe that catch, Alex Baker? That was orgasmic, frankly. <laughs> would you describe it as a tasty <laughs> snack? <laughs> a a full-on snack. Oh, the work, he doesn't look happy, the captain. Oh, no. Could it be called no good? I feel like there is a call to be is made. There, is there like um, some angle to say no good because the score was wrong for so long? And Bournemouth were denied such a long time of like chasing the win. Who knows? Well, they're clearly arguing about something over there. You never know. This is like I genuinely think this is the most broken part of Quidditch is these long discussions about snitch catches. Oh, oh, oh! Who's got a card? Who's got a card? No, they haven't. They have three girls. I think what Graham is querying here is the score and how that has influenced the game, which is fair enough. I think we might do. Graham, what was that about? Oh. The catch is good. Warwick have won. Score ends 130 star 70. Brave, brave effort from Bournemouth. 